New developments tonight in the controversial move of the Spokane Police Department's downtown precinct. Spokane City Council is demanding answers from the police and the mayor about why the decision was made to move the precinct out of its location next to the SDA Plaza. Police are up and running in their new location in the Intermodal Center, but noticeably without a captain. Longtime police captain Brad Arlith has been suspended. Sources tell KXLY Arlith was also upset over the move. The suspension, along with several other issues, have city council members questioning the move. KXLY 4's Alyssa Donovan working for you tonight. She explains why the city council has concerns. Well, Aaron, a city council were led to believe that a the new precinct in the intermodal center would actually be an additional precinct and that the precinct next to the SDA Plaza would in fact stay there. The council is also concerned that this move could actually be more costly. The move of Spokane's downtown police precinct is already complete. They're operational. They've been working out of there and it's up and running. But the conversation about it is just getting started. When we voted to spend capital dollars to renovate the intermodal, the conversation was this would be an additional precinct. We didn't find out that we were closing the downtown one until well after we'd approved funding to renovate the intermodal. City Council met with the police chief today to discuss the move and the suspension of Captain Brad Arleth. Mayor David Condon says the new location will alleviate some key issues like parking, infrastructure, and the cost of running the city-owned intermodal center. And the reality is we pay $100,000 for security of that building because the calls to service. One of the reasons uh, we may be losing one of our tenants there is because of the, um, of, the, of the security issues around that building. The mayor says this is also a step towards co-locating city departments with plans of moving parking enforcement to an adjacent building in the future. But the council worries the move will cost the city money. It concerned me when I heard that STA wasn't going to fund a police officer um, last week. Overall, the city council wants to know if this move will actually be beneficial to the city at all. There's two parts. One part is an update on where we're at with the move. And then I think the second part is really kind of taking a look at the cost of moving. And what about the safety of the community? Will moving out of the central part of the city erase the reduction in crime police have been so proud of? The police chief reassured that patrols will continue for the entire downtown area. City Council has a list of questions that they would like the Spokane Police Department to answer by January 26th. These are questions they've received from the public on the issue, such as cost benefit details and data that police coverage will remain the same after the move. Reporting downtown, Alyssa Donovan, KXLY4 News.